Welcome to Evanston, Illinois. Ryan Field and home to the Northwestern Wildcats where it will be a sea of purple as the fans are more than ready for this one. And while today is the final home game of the season for one team, it is more importantly a celebration. Senior Day. As we'll see the number nine team in the country, the Michigan Wolverines. They've gotten better and better as the weeks have progressed and now we've got this major... And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. On third and long, you know what's coming. It's exactly where you want to get an offense. The passing game has to come out. You go nickel, bring some more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack to force the fourth down. Quarterback changing the plays at the line. On third down, he drops the throw. Into double coverage, and he picked it off. Didn't let him get loose on the return, but he'll take it as they have the ball at the 47. They feed him again. Still running at the 40. He's off to the races. And he'll take it all the way. They couldn't bring him down. Touchdown, Wolverines. Well, this offense is top 10 in the country in points per game because they've got a lot of speed and they've got home run hitters. They score fast. They don't need 10 plays to go down the field. You saw it right there. They've recruited well. They've got playmakers. They're going to be a problem for defenses all year long. So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the replay booth has decided to overturn the call. Feeling some heat. How nice is it as a defense when you can drop seven guys in the coverage, only rush four, and still get home? That makes you feel good if you're the D coordinator. And guys with the empty backfield on second and short, might they take a shot here? Back to pass, it's Gray. Finds his man down the middle. The expressway is wide open. And he gets it down to the four yard line before he's finally stopped a terrific run after the catch. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. He works his way ever closer, all the way down to the one-yard line. Offense trying to pay it off on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. Just hammer it with this running back again, and he noses his way into the end zone. Twice they've been denied touchdowns in the red zone, and now it's third and goal. Go straight ahead. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Well, you know if you're this offense, you're dialing up this running back, man. He has been a scoring machine all season long. He just finds his way into the end zone, and this is a golden opportunity to put six up on the board with that guy in your backfield. No good. After that failed field goal attempt, fellas, still tie ball game. And that hurts missing that field goal, especially when you're going up against a defense like this. One of the best in the entire country. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. And he intercepts it. Got him down quickly after the pick, but man, do you have to take care of the ball down here, and they didn't. They'll mark it at the 27. The Wolverines have it with a first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Finds a soft spot in the middle. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan! A quick strike, just as we expected. Yeah, and quick strikes are easy when you got such great field position. Obviously, when the offense starts in such a good spot, puts the defense in a bad position, and the offense takes advantage. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. And they block it! I love the coverage on defense. In the red zone, everyone's got their eyes on the quarterback, and they're flying to the football, and you saw that there on the incompletion. He's looking for a man on second down. Ball in the air, intercepted! The 50. 
He's at the 30. The 10. And he's going to score on the interception. Touchdown, Northwestern! This time, it's the defense finding ways to put points on the board. There is nothing better than being a defender. Seeing that ball in the end zone, your eyes get big as saucers. Go jump on that puppy, secure it, get you a touchdown. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. It's been a fun start to this one, and this offense has really been the story. They've opened up a sizable lead, and unless something drastic changes, things might get even more out of hand. A combination of lethal efficiency, and that offensive line has been the key. They've mauled that defense and also just about broken their will. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. Back to throw, it's Gray. Fires to the right. And he is finding wide open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. And he's going to take it all the way back. Touchdown, Wolverines. And they come up with a huge pick six. And that is one of the reasons this defense has been so dominant all season long. They don't give up big plays, but they take the football away. And once they do, they've got better athletes than you do. They're hard to bring down. They can flip the game on a dime. They've already punted four times in this game, and they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down here. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. And the ball is intercepted. Never really got that return cranking, but the offense is set up at the 30. This defense is good, but I'm going to challenge them. I'm, I'm going to try to be the more physical team. And it's caught. Touchdown, Michigan. They give themselves a little more cushion as they try to reel off their fourth straight win. Now they have extended this lead, guys, starting to put the hammer, but sometimes a rivalry game can give you a little of extra fight back. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. This is where you'd love to control the flow of the game, right? You want to dictate everything to the defense, and you do that by running the football. That was a really nice... And he sprints to the end zone. Touchdown, Wolverines. They've now extended that lead, and they're trying to hang on for a Week 12 victory. You got a chance to get in the backfield, just like right there, and create a TFL. Got him downfield. Flying down the left side. Touchdown, Michigan. And the stomping has commenced. The mantra is always finished, and they're trying to do that here in the regular season with this Week 12 performance. And this offense continuing to put up points. This game's out of reach. You know you're going to win, but still throwing the football, still finding that connection. I imagine there'll be some salty handshakes at the end of this game. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long. Ball's at the 25. And that pass picked off. Trying to take it back. And he's going to run it all the way back. Touchdown, Wolverines. They give themselves a little more cushion as they try to reel off their fourth straight win. Dude, this, you didn't think it could be any worse, right? You thought this game's over as it is anyways. Offense still throwing the football, still trying to make plays. And the defense just continues to pour it on, gets the pick, makes its way all the way to the end zone. 
You know, it's one thing to take shots early in a game when the defense may not be expecting it, but at this point, fourth quarter, you're trailing by a lot. They... And the pass hits, picked off! And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. The number one objective for a defense is to make the offense one-dimensional. Well, when they're trailing by this much late in the game, they're one-dimensional. They have to pass the football. Running out the clock, a mere formality between them and a victory as we have victory formation coming. Quarterback will take a knee. The defense can stop it one more time, but we are close to being all she wrote. There is nothing greater than a rivalry game unless you lose it. And in that case, there is nothing more miserable. I agree, Reese. And that's why rivalry games are so great, because you take the stats, and you take the rankings, and you take the records, and you throw it all out the window. There's always tremendous effort and passion when we see these rivalry games. We certainly saw it today. And David, for this losing team, this one's going to sting for a while. It does, but it's so strange because I always feel the same way. I'm like, there's no chance that they have a chance to upset them. But then you go, it's a rivalry game. The, 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 the vitriol, the hate, it's already there. And so it means so much in sports who's motivated for these games. So you do get up. It does become a good game, even when it's not a good game on paper. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.